I have a Magic Pack unit here. It's a year old that I installed and it's been giving intermittent lockouts on high pressure safety. So in this video I want to show what's happening that the board's getting water on it. At first I thought the sweating was here and getting the board wet but it's pretty clear that the water is coming from the wet ductwork and then it's pooling on top and then it's following these wires down because we get water right here we get water dripping on the board and then you can see a huge pool right there on my future installations I'm going to go in on the side that way I don't have to worry about the top but for this one I need to seal the top you can see I sealed on the top there and then also these control wires are acting like a gutter, taking it right to the board, so I move those wires to the right. We can still get drips, and you can even see it's wet right there. Still kind of wants to drip on that, but the ceiling will take care of it. Because see, the leaks are extremely important because this is a negative pressure, so any little hole is going to suck water in. Of course, I could insulate all the ductwork. That would fix the issue, but where I am, none of the ductwork's insulated, and I really don't want to do that. So I came back four days later. Ductwork is nice and wet. Condensate line's wet, everything's sweating. You can see water right there. Let's see if the board is dry. And the board is very dry. No water on the contactor, no water on the wires. And then on the top, you can see the water pooling up, but the silicon is keeping it out. Even the silicon's wet. So I'd recommend on these installs, run the wire in a side, and then you don't have to deal with the water coming in. You can put some tape over the knockouts. So that solves getting a high pressure lockout when you're not getting a high pressure lockout. Hope you like watching the video. Thanks for watching.